How's it going guys? Now series 32 for Forza Horizon 5 released just this week. We've already done a video talking about it, but there were some things brought to the game within that update that I found quite interesting and do tell us a little bit about the future. There's also a couple of things within that update that I didn't mention in my previous video, new features and a potential April Fool's joke. We're going to talk about all that today, leaks, you know how it works now, a general discussion about the update and what's coming next. Really quickly before we do, here are all of the winners of all of the car pack codes that I've been giving away. I have messaged them all on xbox that should be it for car pack codes for now but i can guarantee you that not all of these guys are going to reply so to stay entered in the continuous car pack giveaways that i do comment your game attack and make sure you're subscribed you might get picked if one of these geezers don't reply which always happens wait till the end of the video though let me know what you think of the video pop your game attack in the comments along with what you think of the video i'd love to hear so the first thing is this April Fool's thing that's supposedly going to be happening in Forza Horizon 5. What is it? Well, we don't know. We only know about it from the reveal live stream for the update itself, which I don't always watch from start to finish. I don't have to, but there was a sneak little hint in there. As well, It looks like a lot of fun. I'm told there might be something players need to look out for for April Fool's Day. I'm going to guess you can't tell me too much more about it, but I'm going to try anyway. <laughs> well, uh, I think we'll just let the players figure it out and Damn. would like to see um, you try it and uh, okay, it's your opinion. I will live stream my whole reaction and I'll make sure so something in the game will be changed, will be tweaked for April Fools. No doubt it's going to be something silly like the festival disappearing or cars having no wheels. I don't know. It's April Fools. It could be anything. But I didn't mention this in my previous video. I don't as of now know what it's going to be. If any of you guys do know, make sure to let us know in the comment section below. It's not April 1st yet. We'll find out in just a couple of days. Now there were some other things in that update that I missed and it's, it's body kits. There were a few cars that came with body kits or just interesting sort of cosmetic upgrades the terminator cobra came with a good looking kit front to back the new ford mustang from 2024 came with a triple seven kit which looks awesome if you ask me that is one hell of a rear wing and i find it quite interesting where the rear wing mounts just beside the windows it's not very common really is it so that's got a kit as well and the new mclaren artura also has some mclaren spec rear wings one where it removes the wing by the looks of it and adds these little flaps around the top of the tail lights and a just generic big mclaren wing so some kits came with some of the new cars that is what they were now we do have the full change log for the full update that might have the odd other thing that i missed as well i don't think there's anything what was interesting is that the full change log for this most recent update didn't actually have any extra fixes usually they only note about five to ten whereas actually in the release notes there's usually 10 to 30 changes well this update only had five fixes so maybe that just shows one how stable the game is nowadays the general performance and stability fixes there is kind of generalized and categorized into one so that might be quite a few things let's have a quick chat about what came within the update that is quite interesting and tells us about the future it's once again still good to see that playground games are focusing on the cars that we vote for to add to the game the ford mustang gt from 2024 was a high voted car we spoke about it in my top 20 highest voted cars videos which is now already out of date because they've added it it was about 17th on the list I think so it's great to see that they're now focusing on that list even more and what's also interesting is a couple of the cars in this update were also part of a leak from a few months ago which is still proving to be accurate over time now this was the leak that came out a good few months ago now it was spotted in text strings in the files and it had nine cars at the time that this came out none of these cars were in the game however as of today the KTM Expo came in the super speed car pack in series 26 the Ford Econoline came in the American car pack in Series 27. The BMW M3 came in Series 25. And the Celine S7 LM came in the American pack in Season 27. Now, in this latest update that's just come out this week, the Mustang SVT from 2003 and the Jaguar F-Type SVR have now also been added in this update, Series 32. So this particular leak is just proving again and again to be quite accurate. And all it leaves us with now is the Aston Martin Lagander, the Bentley Flying Spur and the Maserati MC20. Now, I will say now, I really do expect us and hope us to get these three cars at some point over the next, I don't know how long. Again, it could be at any point. It could be six months 
months or now. But over time, since this leak came out, it's just proving to be more and more accurate. Now, speaking about Forza Motorsport, Forza Motorsport should become a big talking point when we want to figure out what cars are coming to Horizon 5. In almost every Forza Horizon 5 update, they are bringing cars to the game that have just released in Forza Motorsport as well. There's obviously some correlation. For example, in this most recent Forza Horizon 5 update, we got the McLaren Sabre and the Audi TT RS. These are two new to Forza Horizon 5 cars. The Audi TT RS is a bit of a funny one because there's basically the same car in the game, but it is technically a new car. And these two cars actually were introduced to Forza Motorsport just a couple of months ago. The Audi TT came in update five for Forza Motorsport and the McLaren Sabre came in update four for Forza Motorsport. And I thought it'd be quite interesting to just look back at all of the Forza Motorsport updates at what new cars have, have arrived in motorsport that we might see in Horizon 5 soon, as there's definitely some correlation there once you see what I'm about to show you. So we have a look at update six for Forza Motorsport. This is the most recent one just a few weeks ago. These are all of the new cars that came with an update six. Now there's quite a few race cars in there, all cars that are already in Horizon 5. The one that stands out to me is the 2019 Toyota 86 TRD SE. That to me adds up perfectly with what Horizon 5 is about. It's a new to Forza Motorsport car. I don't see why we wouldn't get that in Horizon 5 as well at some point, just like these other cars that are correlating between the games. So for update six cars for Forza Motorsport, I would definitely write down that Toyota TRD. Having a look at update five now, the, now there's more correlation here. We have the Audi TT RS Coupe that did come to Horizon 5 just a month later. And then at the bottom, we've got the 2022 Porsche 718 Cayman GT4 RS that came to Forza Horizon 5 back in series 26. So that was actually the other way around. It actually came to Horizon 5 first and then Forza Motorsport, but it does show that probably when they're working on these licenses, they try to get it for both games. If you have a look at update four, another interesting one, we've got the McLaren Senna GTR, which I think is a certain possibility to come to Horizon 5. If the Aston Martin Valkyrie AMR Pro can come to the game, then I don't see why the Senna GTR couldn't. Um, speaking about the Valkyrie AMR Pro, that was released to Forza Motorsport in Update 4, and in Series 31, it came to Forza Horizon 5. So again, more correlation between the cars coming to Motorsport, and then just a little bit after that, they bring them to Forza Horizon 5. Now, what cars in Update 4 could we see in Horizon 5? I'm going to say the Senna GTR, that's a certain possibility if they've got the licensing sorted for that. Let's have a look at Update 3. What did Update 3 bring? Well, there's several examples on this one. We've got the McLaren Sabre. It came out in Update 3 for Forza Motorsport. That's a good few months back, and we just got it in Horizon 5, so that finally made its way through. The Aston Martin Valkyrie came out in Update 3, and what do you know? We got it in Forza Horizon 5 in Series 28. And the Automobili Pinini Farina Batista, that came out in Update 3 for Forza Motorsport, and it came to Forza Horizon 5 in Series 31. So three of the cars from Update 3 for Forza Motorsport have come to Horizon 5. Now, again, all the other ones are either already in the game or they're too much of a race spec car. So everything actually adds up quite as you'd expect. The next example is Update 2. These are all of the cars that came to Motorsport in Update 2. We have the Celine S7 LM that came to the game and then it later came to Horizon 5 in Series 27. The Gordon Murray Automotive T50 that came to Motorsport, then it came to Horizon 5 in Series 28. There's a lot of correlation, as you can see, between some of the, the, the cooler cars adding to the game. So if you spot any cars on any of them update lists we just looked at that aren't in Horizon 5 that you think are good candidates that fit the Horizon 5 theme, I don't see why we couldn't get them in the future. It is happening over time in every update so far. We have had cars come from motorsport, which is great to see. Forza Horizon 5 isn't getting to an old game now. We talk about it all the time as it being over two and a half years old now, which is a bit mad. And we're still getting free content like this. I know car packs are a regular thing nowadays, but when we get all of these cool cars for free every month, what more can we ask for, really? Leave a like if you've enjoyed, and I'll see you all later.